They wanted everything that America could offer. They had nothing but their dreams and their music. The music was the mambo, and with their musical talent, Cesar and Nestor Castillo could be kings. Warner Brothers presents The Mumbo Kings, based on Oscar Ijuelo's Pulitzer Prize winning novel. This is a look at America in the early 50s. And it's a movie about the American dream, about reaching for it, getting it. Let's hear it for a Mumbo King. Watching it go up in smoke in your hands. <laughs> and having to build something from the ashes. Cesar is the eternal dreamer. He takes the little that he has and makes it work for him. And he's irrevocably joined at the hip with his brother. Nestor is a real musician. He's a real artist. He only wants to communicate his soul through the trumpet. Marushka Detmers plays Dolores, a woman torn between her affection for Nestor and her secret passion for Cesar. She meets Nestor. He seems to be more sensitive than probably than most of the men she sees around her. Then there is, on the other hand, Cesar. He's very sensual and very extroverted and very open. Three. Get away. Cesar meets his match in Lana, a woman who knows exactly what she wants. I got this covered, please. Thank you. This is not a slow platonic relationship. Lana is, is a girl that's just kind of been around the block probably once too many times. I love this country. <laughs> She's like him. They basically are incredibly sexually attracted to one another. So what do we say in this thing? I am going to say that this man... No, no, don't say anything. <laughs> this man is just... <laughs> it's just perfect. Stop being a big jerk, huh? He'd do anything for you. Please, don't break his heart. The film has absolutely captured the pain the dreams, uh, the sort of uh, uh, wonderful aspects of life as it pertains to working class people who are trying to get along in this world in a better way. I wanted this movie to be opulent and rich with the most beautiful mambo dancers in the world. The club for Mambo was the Palladium, where performers like Celia Cruz and Tito Puente became legends. Glimcher cast the queen and king of Mambo in two pivotal roles. Cruz's haunting lyrics weave the story, and Puente, playing himself, shows Cesar what is possible when you reach for the stars and what can happen when you become one. The Castillo brothers' big break comes when they appear on the I Love Lucy show. <laughs> Hosted by Desi Arnaz and played by Desi Arnaz Jr. The two brothers' lives are, are about coming to America and seeking really happiness. And it also parallels certain things that happened to my father. We can't do that. I'm glad. We're glad we have Stop it. it with that. <laughs> we ap actually recreated an episode of the I Love Lucy show where I matched certain things that actually happened. The stomach is fine. Come on, we never looked this good in our lives. I had uh, feelings that were indescribable. But everyone has their own description of mambo. Mambo is a style, is a feeling, is a sound. It's a wonderful, thick, fat word. It's the prelude to sex. Mambo is an era. A reflection of that era. I think it's one of the great lessons from this movie, is what were the values, what made it work and what have we lost? Then I hope it asks the question, how do we get them again? <laughs>